Hey there, this is Stacy with Keizu Keto doing another episode of Cookbook Keto. This is episode 14. We are going to be making fathead dough lasagna. What is that? Coming up. And if you're new here, this series is all about me learning how to cook because yes, before the best I could do was something out of a box or some really overcooked chicken. So I'm learning how to cook using recipes that you can find on the internet. This particular episode is a little different because while we are somewhat following a recipe from the website hiptobeketo.com, we're making some changes to it as well. So the macros that you see on the website don't quite match what we're doing. In true Stacy fashion, she needed more cheese. Cheese is good. So to make the fathead dough noodles, you're gonna need mozzarella cheese, egg, cream cheese, almond flour, and Italian seasoning. So to make the lasagna or the filling part of the lasagna, you're gonna need ground beef, marinara sauce, which we prefer to use Rouse, ricotta cheese, onion, basil, garlic, parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, egg, and sausage. Now I had a fun time at the store because I went to a smaller store looking for sausage that did not have dextrose or MSG or any of the other filler stuff. So I finally found some um, and it cracks me up because it's called old folks sausage. But it's Italian which fits with our meal and it only has pork, water, salt, flavorings, fennel seed, and extractive of paprika. So we have our sausage. Okay so you know the drill. First thing Get your pan ready. We have a sheet pan with a sill pat. Second thing, get your oven ready. We're gonna preheat it to 400 degrees. So this recipe that we're using for the fathead dough for the lasagna also makes some killer breadsticks. Give that a try. Okay, so I put the cheese in the microwave for 30 second intervals on high. Um, to melt it and with each interval and it actually only took two to get to this consistency I just go in and stir it up. Then we add our almond flour, egg, and Italian seasoning. And we mix it again. I'm making two sets of noodles. Um, so I have half the dough on my Silpat mat. I'm going to put some parchment paper over it, spread it out so that it comes out to about the size of the mat, and then we're going to cook that, and then we're going to do the same thing with the other half of the dough. So once it's spread out, I've got it to probably between an eighth of an inch and a sixteenth of an inch, probably. Um, you're going to peel away some of it's going to stick. Peel away the parchment paper. And then we'll put it on our pan. Throw it in the oven at 400. We're going to put it in for five minutes and check it because we don't need it to be completely cooked. We just need it to be stiffer. Okay, so we got both pans of noodles done. We're going to let these cool and while we're doing that we're going to start on the lasagna ingredients and drop the oven temperature down to 375. So I'm a little excited for this part because this is a first cookbook keto that we're using our new infrared burner. Um, so I won't have to scream to be heard over it over the, the cooking process. So if you're interested in the review that we did on this, we'll link that up here. So let's get the meat going. Okay, so we've got our pork sausage. I'm not even gonna say what I was just thinking. Blop, blop, fizz, fizz. No. No, flush, flush is what you were thinking. Yep. Elephant turd. Super proud of you trying to get all that extra meat out of there, honey. I thought about not. Yeah. I really thought about not, but that would be wasteful. Flop. So get this on medium heat. We're going to break this up and get it browned. Okay, 
All right, so this is done. It is browned and it's got a lot of grease in it. So we're gonna drain it. Most of it. We need at least some of it for the other stuff. We're gonna drain some of it. So these are cool, cool enough to touch. You're gonna take a beveled spatula, just kind of gently loosen it from the um, silk hat because it's gonna stick. All right, that one loosened. So we're gonna cut this. We moved it over to some parchment paper because you don't ever want to cut on your silk hat. We're gonna cut it about, if you can remember, depending on how long you've been on keto, we're gonna cut it about the width of regular pasta lasagna noodles. Okay, so we have removed the ground meat because normally you would saute your onions and stuff beforehand. But Greg thought I would burn the garlic even though I've done this a few times. If you're also like Stacy, you probably drained all of the grease and therefore no. you don't have enough. So we also added about a tablespoon of avocado oil in there to help the onion. Speaking of which, where is the onion? Put real onion? Like a there is the onion. onion right there. Actual onion? One cup of onion. Going mm -hmm. in the pan. I come back and you're like, changed person? No, not changed. And she cut it herself this time too, guys. Again, I would much rather have onion powder. Why? But not because of you guys. It's so like false and stuff. I don't yeah. care about that. Yeah. I do this for you guys. Oh, wow, we're so special. Because I'm in the minority here. Yeah, it, just so you know, Stacy's aversion to uh, Onions isn't because of the fact she thinks the powder has no it's carbs. It's not the flavor. It's it's because of the fact the texture wigs her out. It's so. the texture. It's just not. It's not right. So. What do you mean it's not right? It's literally natural. No. You know, I hear mushrooms are also natural. It's not like a fungus. Those are just gross. <laughs> so are onions. No, no. Yeah. All right. So you're sauteing the onions and you're gonna add the garlic. How much garlic are you adding? So how do you know when it's done, Stacy? When the onions are translucent and you can smell the garlic. Did I get it right, teacher? I think so. Although that must have hurt really bad. <laughs> Time to add the beef. Wait, and sausage. See, there's still some grease. I just dumped it in the thing. Sounds about right. Let's get that all incorporated. We don't want all the onions in one spot. Well, maybe we do. Now that we got all that in there, we're gonna jump in, jump in? We're gonna dump in a jar of the Rouse regular marinara. I'm having problems opening things today. The mouth. Mouth seems to be working just fine. Ooh. Shows my foot when it goes up your butt. How many ounces is that? This is a 28 ounce jar. Lots and lots of marinara. So I've got this on medium heat and we're gonna let it go so it's gonna simmer for about 10 minutes so it cooks down a little bit of the liquid. This is what I don't like about the rose though. Do you see this big giant chunk of tomato? This? Like who wants to bite into that? People who like tomatoes. Nate doesn't like tomatoes. But he doesn't hate tomatoes either. So I think if he bit into that, he'd probably be fine. I actually... It's gushy. Yeah, I'd probably be fine with it now too. There's a lot of foods you eat that are gushy. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. Certain things, I don't want them to be gushy. Yeah, well... The about... flavor doesn't go with the gush. In here, I have mixed up two eggs one teaspoon of dried basil, and 16 ounces of ricotta cheese. And a dog heffing. Huff, 
Now we're going to put some foil on it that I have sprayed with some avocado spray. It helps to keep the cheese from sticking to the top of it. And we're going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. And then when that's done, we're going to take the foil off and cook it for another 10. Excuse the heavy breathing. There is a storm and Odie's thunder jacket isn't quite working as well as it should. It's right over top of us. Odie. Poor guy. Looks pretty. Lasagna is done. Good. Thoughts? I made that. I'm ready to dig in, but we gotta let it cool for a little bit first. Got our lasagna. Let's try it with fat head dough. I don't know if I got any. I don't think I got any. Maybe I did. The onions. Oh, there's a big ol' onion. Yum. Gross. I can't find any. Is that the dough? Is that? Yes. That thing looks like a noodle. That's the dough. It's really thick. That's what she <laughs> Like, no, seriously. It almost looks like cheese. Well, the cheese is... Cheese. It, I keep forgetting that it's cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always forget it doesn't look like cheese. Mm. It looks like bread. But it's made out of cheese. I know, but I forget that it's cheese. There's it a noodle right there. It looks like bread. So does it taste like lasagna? I think so. Like normal lasagna? <laughs> Not diet lasagna? Yes. <laughs> I don't necessarily know if I'd tell the difference. I mean, no one possibly. Finally got him. <laughs> You've always been trying to get me on baked goods, to be fair. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I think you said that same thing a few times about fathead pizza. And yeah. I have okay. a thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. I think it was good. Thumbs up. I wouldn't know it was fathead dough. I would think it was actually lasagna. I don't know, I feel like I can definitely get a difference because the dough is so thick. Where are you leaving the thickness from? I don't know what she's thinking. It's of. thick, like look at that. Where did it go? It's, 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 it's No, see what it is is the dough and then there's the cheese that you put on top of the dough that's fusing together to make it look like it's thick. Right there. Yeah, that's the cheese. And that's all dough. That, the dough is hanging all over. And it's not thick. Oh, it is hanging down. I guess this is the thick layer of cheese. I should make lasagna more often. I don't think we can afford it. <laughs> Ow! The onion bit you? No, my fork hit me in the teeth. All I know is I bit right into the middle of one of those red pepper flakes. <laughs> my tongue would happen to be in the same vicinity at the time. And my tongue is Tip my tongue is burning. Tonight's game was called Vindication. And as per usual, I lost. What do you mean? Completely. Okay, hold. No, 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 no. Do, do, do we need to look back at the record books? As per as usual. Per I believe usual last. Time. As per usual, my behind. Normal no, it's normal for me to lose. No, no. Uh huh. It is normal for me to lose. I mean, in this case, you didn't lose. You got. Spanked. You got spanked. Yeah. Greg and Nate were in a close race and I pulled it out just in the end by a few points. Pulled it out. Can't get anybody pregnant. We lack Stacy, as she would say. 
We didn't really uh, laugh her, technically. Nate's gonna go into that whole technical thing about what laughing really is. Technically, we didn't laugh. We passed her. Yeah. We, we did not laugh. Her. You know, we like, I kept up with you guys pretty good for the first, like, 30, 40 points. It was right here on this side of the board that, yeah. I, that, that we just all kind of just ran away. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said, the first 30, 40. Yeah. It was a good game. It was yeah. I think this might be coming my fast, my fast favorite new I game. Do quite it's like not it. a favorite. I quite like this game, actually. Yes. So like we got it. lots of expansion yeah. options. What? I like it, but it's not my favorite. Yeah. Well, that is it for us this week, guys. Thanks for stopping with us. Thanks for checking out our lasagna. It was delicious. Definitely having that again soon. We actually have a whole other pan of it. So we'll be eating that for leftovers this week, which I'm super excited about. Uh, thanks for clicking that subscribe button. Give us a like if you th if you like the video. And uh, until next time, stay keto. See ya. There's a really easy way to do that, and that is not it. The meat first, and there's a weird. I'm taking this out. It's a little weird little fat globule, and it's it's going away because it's squicking me out. That's the other thing I could have done. Instead of onion powder, I could have done the minced onions, the little. Because I can handle those. Why do you prefer like dried processed stuff? Because it doesn't like don't have the weird texture crunch thing and it throws me off. Like it messes with my psyche. Only because you know it's an onion. In what way? Like what do you think like, that it's it, what do you, not do, supposed do you think it's to something crunch. different? Yeah, this is not crunch. supposed to crunch. This is all mushy food. There's not supposed to be any crunch in. Okay, you know that one piece of tomato that you saw? Do you see this big giant chunk of tomato? Do you want to watch? Like who wants to bite into that? But it's mostly covered. It, is it going to squish? And it, it's going to squish my mouth? No, so it's mostly covered and it matches the mush of everything else. So I won't know that it's there. Right. And that is why yours is not gone. Because you spend more time picking at it. No, I don't have very many out. It just, this flipped over so, and I saw plethora of onions on the bottom of it. Okay, it's been a 20 minute tour yes. just trying to figure out all the onions that might have been in her dish. I didn't get them all. I feel like yes. at some point you'll come around to the whole onion discussion. I don't know. I don't know. Ow! The onion bit you? No, my fork hit me in the teeth. Who's controlling the fork? <laughs> I was like, who has the fork in their hand? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is your lasagna controlling the fork? It's the onion controlling the fork. It is! It's, it's the, the fucking onion. onion. There's something hard stuck in that gum. <laughs> so raw. There, got it. I don't know what it is, though. I think it's a piece of cartilage. Cartilage in, from what? From your teeth? From the meat. <laughs> it's cartilage. I'm not sure meat has cartilage. It does. What do you think I cut off a chicken all the time? This is ground beef. Yeah, it gets ground up in it. Yeah. This is ground beef. Part of the beef. And the pork had all kinds of little white things in there. It had globules. You know, strings. I'm totally fine with you cutting off all of those things. I have no issue with that. But this is ground beef. Exactly. It all goes in there. Yes, and you don't taste it. You don't feel it. It's well, not there. Well, what's that? <laughs> That's cheese. It's not cheese. You put like 17 cups of cheese in here, right? It's not cheese. Hey, that's kind of funny, actually, that you said that. Why is that funny? In this book that I'm currently listening to. Oh, boy. It talks about Transformers. Really? Transformers and Voltron are not the same. It's also true. What's Voltron then? A different cartoon, like a different series, like a different thing. Like what? What is it? If it's not part of Transformers, isn't that like the evil? I just know. No, those are the Decepticons. Those are the Decepticons. Then what is Voltron? It's a different show. It's like... What show? Voltron. It's, it's Voltron. You've heard of uh, He-Man. Yes. Is that anything like Transformer? No. Exactly. I've heard the name Voltron. That's why I thought it was Transformer. And it's like a Transformer-y name. What's Voltron? Voltron 
is... Come, come over here and tell the camera. Oh, yeah. Voltron, depends on what you're talking about. It's a, uh, it used to be a cartoon show. I think it was from the 90s. What, what was it about? What was in it? I'm pretty sure it's about robots. Well, we already said it was one of the like, yeah. I don't know what that's about. It was like because trans you said it was two separate. Don't, two don't you dare say what you're about to say. He he just was dad. Thank it, you. It's kind of like Transformers. Oh, like Transformers. <laughs> Thank you.